Welcome back guys. It is a cold rainy day here in Kansas so I wanted to just take a minute and show you guys a little bit of a project that we've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram you might already know what the project is. If you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you go do that. That is Drake Valley Outdoors. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you the project. We ended up making an impulse buy um, and bought ourselves a small little John boat and this is the first boat that any of us have actually owned. So this is more or less just a learning experience for us, trying to figure out the ins and outs of owning and running a boat. And we're already finding out that um, the bust out another thousand thing is very much true. Although on this boat, it's a nice cheap boat, so it's more like bust out another 10 or um, $150, whatever. Um, so we don't have a whole lot of money invested in this boat but we did not want to spend five thousand dollars on our first boat and end up sinking it because we didn't know what we were doing so just a little test platform for us to get everything figured out um, we bought this boat pretty bare we're installing some lights getting the wiring going for that um, these lights on the back are so that we can see the long tail shaft so the motor's not here right now um, that's actually at ryan's house but that's a six and a half horse Predator engine with a mud skipper long tail on it. Um, plenty big for a boat this size. This is a 14 by 32, which is a little smaller than I really wanted. I was looking for more of a 16 by 48, but we were able to get this at a nice price. And um, like I said, it's just something for us to test with. So we also have a light bar going on up here in the front that we installed. And this is just an Amazon light bar. It's a 32 inch light bar. And then we installed a navigation light down here. I'll have a link for both of these in the description um, to an Amazon affiliate link if you guys are interested in buying something like that. Um, it's a really bright light, we've tested it out already. Um, so we got our wiring ran for those lights all the way back to the back of the boat and then um, we got our battery the box is empty right now but we have a battery that's going in and we got to get all of our wiring here figured out we put in a nice handle for whoever's running the boat so they can stand up and hold on to that but other than that we don't really have a whole lot of plans for what we're going to do with this boat right now this is really about it. We're just kind of patching up some small things. We have a trailer for it as well. Um, we had to buy a spare tire for the trailer. We replaced the bearings, which is kind of a hassle because of the size of the axles that is on the, the trailer. It's an older trailer, um, and those bearings are kind of hard to get a hold of, and they're a little bit pricey. So we've already had to do that. We've rewired the trailer lights and put new lights on it. So that's about all we, we're really doing to it. Like I said, just patching up a few more things so we can get it back out on the water. We've already taken it out once just to test it, see how the engine worked and had a blast out running it. So we'll get the next few things patched up and then we can go maybe take it out on a few little fishing trips to set some lines. I don't even know if this boat is going to stay with us up to the hunting season. We may end up getting rid of it and trying to get something bigger before then. Um, but I want to have another boat before we sell this one. This boat, I think, will do what we want because we're in such shallow water, but we'll have to see. Um, if you guys have any tips for a boat, make sure you leave that down in the comments below because, like I said, this is our first boat, and we're still trying to get the hang of everything. Um, we have an idea of what's going on, but any advice you guys have for us is much appreciated. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of showing you what we've been working on. I'm not sure if I'll have much video of us actually working on it. If I do, I'll put that in. So if you liked the video, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe so you can see some shenanigans going on in this boat in the future. Um, we might try and take it out on a fishing trip next weekend to set some lines like I said. So make sure you subscribe for that and thank you guys for watching.